Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and thank you so, so much for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you so, so much. I appreciate you so much that I actually have a giveaway going on on the video that was posted previously to this one. In the title, it says 900 subbies. So if you go and watch that one, you can get entered into my 900 subscriber giveaway. I will be picking two winners for that one. So make sure you head over to that video and watch it. And that's where you get entered to win. And I have that running until Monday. Monday, this upcoming Monday, so forth with the December 6th. So um, make sure you head over there. Also, I have been telling you guys about an upcoming collaboration I'm a part of and I am getting so excited for it. So on Saturday, December 4th, keep an eye out for my Christmas tree collaboration where I am decorating the Dollar Tree trees and I'm so excited for it because my ideas are like going crazy. Um, I think today actually I'm going to start working on it so that I have that ready um, for Saturday because I have all the ideas in my head and I need to put them on the tree. So watch for that. There are 11 channels participating and every single channel is doing a giveaway to go along with the collaboration but you do need to be um, subscribed to every single channel. So in my community tab, I have a thumbnail up of everyone who is participating in that collaboration if you want to get started on joining their channels. And on the day of the collaboration video, they will all be linked in the description box on that video. So make sure you, you know, join in that fun because the little mini Christmas trees can do so many things and I'm excited. Also, I'll be doing another collaboration later in the month because it's December already. Can we believe it? With Sherelle from Crafty Girl Down South, we're going to be doing some kids gifts with Dollar Tree items. And so just keep an eye. This is a little little announcement, but you know, I've been collecting things to put together kids gifts. And so it's going to be putting those together for you guys so that you guys can see them and she'll be doing the same. So that way you guys can get a lot of ideas for for the littles in your life. Um, I might do some teenager ones. I haven't decided how many I'm doing for the video, but I have a lot of kids gifts that I've been purchasing for and it's time to get them put together. So I have that collab coming up too on December 14th. Okay, so I have a Dollar Tree haul for you guys today. I am so excited. I'm in my new spot. I've gotten a lot of questions about my fireplace in some of the comments. I'm behind on answering comments, guys. I promise I've been reading them. I just haven't had a chance to sit down and reply because it has been so busy just trying to get all the Christmas decorations up and all the things. So I will get through and I will reply to every one of you. I promise I've been reading them. So um, my fireplace right here is from Dollar Tree. I have Dollar Tree pluses in my area. So the things that can range from three to five dollars. And this was in the plus section. It cost me five dollars. I finally got some batteries put in it and I just love it. Like it is such a neat piece. And so I have my cozy fire going behind me in my cozy cabin themed room that is coming together. I can't wait to give you a home tour. I would have done a decorate with me, but I have been all over the place of decorating in here because it's new and I don't have like a spot for everything. and I don't know what I'm doing. So it, like I have been all over the place and buying as I go. Um, I have my little elf friend hanging out. Um, the other one's on the other side. We have two elves in our house, and they brought advent calendars for the kids. They're under the tree. Um, I will pop in a picture here of just kind of how they all look with the tree and the advent calendars. Let me know in the comments below if you do elf on the shelf. My elves move, but they move around, and sometimes they do, you know, kind of elaborate stuff. And so if you would like to see my elf on the shelf, like as I record their antics, um, let me know when I could put together just a little clip, I guess, a little shorts of some of the stuff the elves do. Let me know if you're interested in that in the comments down below. Also, previously, a couple hauls ago, I talked about Christmas cards. And if you're like me and you like to get Christmas cards in the mail, I don't mind sending you guys one. I haven't done it yet. I've gotten several of your guys' emails. Again, I just haven't had a chance to reply. But um, if you want to email or if, yeah, if you want to email me your address and if you want a Christmas card in the mail, because I know a lot of my family members, we've all just kind of not us all because I still send out Christmas cards. But a lot of people just don't because, you know, it's kind of getting lost in the generations. And so if you're like me and you like to get those Christmas cards and display them, I would love to send you guys one. So email me. My email address is in the description box below, but it's Amber's to do list at gmail.com and send me your address and I'll get you guys sent a Christmas card because I'm I love it. I still love the handwritten cards. I love I do a picture card for my family. So it's the family pictures that we took and I put them all on there. So it's a little less handwritten, but 
you know, it's it's still getting a card in the mail. So if you want to do that and participate, um, send me an email of your address and I'm going to get working on those as soon as I get my Christmas trees up. I have another Christmas tree to do. My husband brought it up this morning and that's on my to-do list for today after I do this haul and I'm going to also record a collective haul for you guys because I need to get the stuff out of there. So let's get started. Sorry for the long intro. Um, on my Dollar Tree haul, I finally found these buckets or baskets. Um, I've seen quite a few people. I think it started with Thrifty Tiffany, and then I've seen some of my other people um, that I watch haul these. In, oh, in January, I plan to organize the refrigerator and like use organizers and baskets, and I thought that these would be perfect. I only picked up two, which means that that won't be enough, and they won't be around anymore when I need them, but I'll make do with the two because I just don't have room to keep storing everything while I wait. I picked up these Santa buckets. These are actually from my best friend. We saw them and she said, oh, if you see those, well, she saw them, asked me if I see them to grab them for her because she is smarter than me. And she's like, I'm gonna use those for my, my the Christmas Eve baskets, but she's not doing them on Christmas Eve either. Neither am I, but with the pajamas and a movie and popcorn and treats. And I'm like, I always look for a big box that I can't find because Dollar Tree doesn't have big enough boxes and I don't wanna spend five to $8 on one. So she got these for that smart and now I'm going to see if I can find three more. I probably won't but maybe I'll do something similar in like a bucket like this because how cute is that? All right I have never picked up one of these sleighs to DIY but I see all the DIYs get done with these and I actually saw one I I don't even know the channel name I think it was actually on Instagram where they took off the sleds they got that contact paper that Dollar Tree has like the wallpaper stuff and like the wood and they used the chevron wood, not the slatted woods, and made it so it looked like wood and just did a cricket thing, like cricketed like a saying or something on it. And then painted the these and then put it all back together. And I'm like, one, super easy. Two, it looked really good. And so along with my other gigantic list of DIYs that I have on my list right now, if I get to it, I want to do that. If not, I'm going to save it until next year and do it next year. I hope I get to it this year, though, because it just sounds so neat. I picked up this tray guys because how do you not I am doing a cocoa bar I'm doing the gingerbread theme in my kitchen this is a little more green than I like because I'm doing a lot more just in the red and whites but there are obviously pops of green because so many things have green in them and it's just such a fun tray it's nice and big you could do like a treat charcuterie board on this and just fill it full of treats and put it on your table and then the tray is adorable and so I had to pick it up I don't know I might just display it above my cabinets I might use it I haven't decided yet because I haven't started decorating in my kitchen yet and so we'll see where that takes me I found and had to pick up the doggy costumes or doggy little outfits for Christmas so a lot for eat or for Halloween I got a small for Ethel because she is teeny tiny but it wouldn't go over her head and so I got the medium for her this time with the elf and the large for Gertie and she's also really small but you know these run really small and so I'm gonna try these on them we got Santa but we're gonna call it Mrs. Claus because you know Gertie's a girl and Ethel can be her little elf and if I get them on them and I can get a picture of them before I post this. I'll put a picture here with them wearing them or a little video of them running around in them. We'll see if I can get that. But how cute are those? We're going to try that out. I do a little um, basket for the pups too when I do them for the kids. And I'll probably put those in there. We get pajamas and I'll put those in there. I got these treats for the pups for Christmas. These are peanut butter flavored mini bones made in the USA. <coughs> Excuse me, I need a drink of water. They're by Foppers, Foppers Gourmet Pet Treat Bakery. So um, I think these are the same ones that do the little sprinkles, like the sprinkle hearts and stuff, and the dogs love those. I don't know if they've had anything peanut butter flavored now that I think about it. And so we're going to give those a try. And then I found this. So Brandy from Brandy Lynn Mitchell, I love her channel. I will link her down below. Go check her out. She is such a doll. She got the like bone shaped one and said that her dog had fun playing with it and was able to figure it out. And I didn't find the, the bone shaped one, but I did find the paw shaped one. And I like it because it's purple and I have two little girl dogs. And so this is gonna be a Christmas gift for my pups. So after Christmas, maybe I'll do, this is for cats because it has a fish on it, but it has a dog picture and dogs don't eat fish, whatever. Um, 
and it has a big fish here too but we're gonna let's see if the girls can figure out the game i guess i assume you just put a tree underneath these and they have to open them up themselves and figure out which one has the tree in it so i got that for the doggies for christmas i have run across all the games of these i think that they are the neatest thing but i only picked up monopoly and the reason i picked it up is i'm super curious about the monopoly money uh, we have Monopoly. We have the Cheaters Edition, which is so much fun because all the kids start getting all mad at each other because they cheat, but you're supposed to cheat and all that. But they are so, they, they love the Monopoly money. And this says it comes with Monopoly money. And I'm super curious if it's like the same as like the Monopoly money in the real game. They really have this taped up. And I didn't think about it beforehand, of course. And I don't know if I've seen anyone open up one of these games. So let's look at all the pieces. So this is the game board. So it's really like a piece of cardstock because I don't think you can even call it cardboard. So it's like, you know, a little flimsy, but it's really cute. You know what these would be so cute for is if you have a game room and you wanted to hang them up on your wall or a playroom, a game room, because I've seen like Candyland and Battleship and stuff. Like, I feel like that would be such cute decor in one of those rooms and it's inexpensive because I've seen where people will frame like real game boards. So here's all the um, the backside of all the property, the mortgage, and here's community chest and chants. So that's what those look like. Oh, they're very bendy and I don't want them to rip apart quite yet. Sorry, I'm just throwing everything on the table in front of me. It comes with directions. And then here are the stickers so maybe there's more in there stickers for the houses the hotels and the game pieces as well as the trains i wonder if you put the stickers and yeah community chest so on here you can see like over here the um i don't know which one that is go to jail go to jail goes there something goes there free parking in jail and pay as you collect go go so those are stickers that you put on there as are the trains still going they have little circles not sure what those are for and i'm not reading all about it quite yet i don't want to lose anything in the little teeny pieces in here oh my gosh so there's the monopoly money that is adorable how cute is that wow this is goodbye. Maybe I'll pick up some more of them because these are really cute. We have the little hangout area in the basement for the kids. It's not really for games, but maybe as they get older. And then these are the little dice. They're teeny tiny, like teeny. And it comes with three of them in there. I, I don't know how to hold up all three without dropping them. Three dice. So cute. Like So in the little hangout area in our basement, I mean, I could do the thing where I put it on the walls and it could be decor. Or they could play it. This money just gets me. I want to pull it out, but I don't want to undo the stack. How cute is that? Okay. Sorry that. Oh. All right. Good find. And I probably want to pick up more now that I've seen how cute it is in there. I have one car in this bag. This car cracked me up. So it is a Matchbox car. The name of it is the Poop King. And it just like is a hauler of outhouses. And I think it is hilarious. So I picked that up either for my husband because he loves cars or for my, any of my kids really, they all love Hot Wheels right now or Matchbox, just cars. Like that has been their current jam is playing with those. Where do I want to go next? <clears throat> all right, I got these two little buckets. A no bro plan with them. I just thought they were both adorable. So this one says holiday cheer, Christmas wishes, season's greetings. It's got the little house on it trying to make this so it's not super glary so that one's really cute and this is my favorite one it says believe in the magic of christmas i just love that saying and so i just think it's really cute and that can go and i know that my room in here is the black and white but i think that little pop of red is perfect for it i picked up this bow so this is real ribbon guys like this isn't the plastic this is like fabric type ribbon 
turn into this bow. It's got the candy cane vibe. And my thought is, is I'm doing like the candy cane vibe in my downstairs bathroom. It's right off the kitchen, which is going to be gingerbread. And so with candy canes, of course, because gingerbread. And I thought that this ribbon might be cute hung up in there because I picked up this wrapping paper and I'm going to wrap anything that's hanging on the walls. I got, you know, some art pieces and stuff in the bathroom because that's what we do. And I thought I would turn them all into candy cane gifts. And maybe I'll put this somewhere in there or just like on the mirror or somewhere in the bathroom. And speaking of my gingerbread stuff, I picked up the gingerbread wrapping paper too because he is just too cute. I love it. So I grabbed those two wrapping papers this last trip in. I picked this up. I saw someone do a DIY. They took the top part off. They use this as a base to hold up a different thing. I honestly will probably never get to that, but I saw it. I remember the DIY and I picked it up. Honestly, I probably just won't be able to do that before Christmas. My list is far too long of everything else. My son went into the Dollar Tree with me at one point. I didn't buy it then, but he said he really wanted this game. And so when I was in there without him, I picked it up for him. So it's like super old school where you push the things and you try to ring them on the little thing. And I remember playing with stuff like this can't do it watching on the camera so this will be a little gift for him either in his stocking for Hanukkah or um, in his like Christmas basket his um I call it his Christmas Eve basket but we do it not on Christmas Eve do you have a better name for that does anyone have a better name for that because I say Christmas Eve basket but we don't do it on Christmas Eve like I like to do it go look at lights and all that stuff but I don't know what to call it his Christmas basket his before Christmas gift I don't know I picked up this tablecloth we do gingerbread house making and I like to lay over a different tablecloth because it always feels like it gets so messy and I don't want to sit there and scrub frosting off of my regular tablecloth so I just lay one of these over my regular tablecloth and then it's like you know all the sprinkles and everything is all over it and I just scoop it all up and throw it away so I got that for the day that we do our gingerbread houses I found these and I love them so this is like the little Santa with the little town there's a tree and you paint them and I got two of one of them that's the same so I'll show both of that one last I got the red truck and it's just kind of got that little detail above it and then this one is two of the same because these are the only three that I found and they're the gingerbread house and so like you know, as you know I'm doing gingerbread in my kitchen and so if I have time I'm going to paint this and put one of them in my kitchen and then the other three I thought the kids would enjoy having a craft day during winter break and so I'm going to pull those out with some acrylic paints during winter break and let them do their own little piece of decor and they can keep it in their room they like to decorate their rooms for Christmas and so why not right so I picked up these terribly annoying ornaments because the kids will love them. They come in three different ones. We have Santa in the tree and it's got the little gifts and stuff. Santa pops out in there. I love the shape of these and just how fun, fun they are. And then I'll turn the last one on. We have Santa in the ornament with like the outside scene behind him. Super cute. And then we have the elf who is it says Santa's workshop, but it's very kind of gingerbread housey behind him. And when you turn them on, they're annoying. So they're motion activated, I think. Yeah, there's a little motion sensor right here. And so when you walk past it, the kids will love having these on their trees and they will drive me absolutely crazy and I'll turn them all off. But so I got one for each of the kids because like I said, they're going to love it. And this is not a for right now thing. I thought that was a dog down there. It's a bag. I could drop this down there. Um, I do candy bars and these are the mini scoops. You get four of them and these are perfect for when I do the candy bars. The scoops I got before were the bigger ones. And since these are mini, they just fit better. And then that way it's a more child sized serving in a scoop. And so I got these to add to all my little candy jars that I do whenever I do the candy bars. 
I picked up, I've never seen these before and I was excited to see them. So it says mailing seals. You get 120 of them. So I sent out a lot of happy mail and I use the things from Dollar Tree. So when you close it, I always feel like those two little sides just kind of hang out open a little bit and I've been wrapping them with tape. I thought maybe this will help just to make sure that they're all the way secure. And I just don't want any of my happy stuff to fall out in transit. So I liked finding those. I'm going to try those out. I picked up a couple of blue bags. I thought I got two sets of two, but I've only ended up with one set in the house. So I don't know if I need to check my receipt and see. We're doing Hanukkah. I mentioned that in my last haul with the books. We don't practice any real organized religion here in our house, but my husband has always been really interested in Judaism. And so I picked up two books that tell all about the Jewish holidays year round. And um, my son Braxton, my oldest, he's with us 100% of the time while my other two are with us 50% of the time, saw those books yesterday. And he was so intrigued and he started reading about all the Jewish holidays. And I love learning opportunities like that. And so I picked these up to hold their Hanukkah gifts. I know we're on day four, so we're halfway there, but we only have the other two half the time. So we need to catch up on their Hanukkah gifts. They get really excited. And of course I just have a bunch of like Hot Wheels and little Dollar Tree items that are gonna go in there, but that way I could put all their little gifts in there. I picked up this jar, it has the red lid. I have a gingerbread craft that I haven't finished yet because I haven't found the right jar. This isn't the one I wanted for it, but I can't find that one. It's the one with the Christmas tree and it's glass and has the cork. And I ran across them once. I didn't want that. I didn't want the, the decor, but now I'm like, shoot, I want the jar, but I can't find them again. So I'm just going to use this jar and it's going to work just fine for that craft. <clears throat> I finally found these, the inflatable decor. I hadn't seen them. It's the first time I ran across them. So I picked up the penguin. He is so cute. I just love the penguin. The Santa and the snowman because my elf friends over here might like those to show up with them one time. I picked up this black frame in the 5x7 a couple hauls ago. Not the last one I don't think but the one before that. I got some really pretty Christmas cards with like a snowy theme with some trees and I just want to take one of those. I'm going to send them out too but I want to take one and put it in a frame for in this room. I think it'll be gorgeous. I was really debating between the white frame, the gray frame, and the black frame because it's a very white card so I got black so I think it'll make the picture pop a little bit more and so I grabbed that. I spoke about our hot chocolate bar. I got this. I don't like marshmallows. I don't like marshmallow fluff. I don't like any of it, but I thought that this would maybe be nice on our hot cocoa station. I'm going to see if the kids like it, and if they do say they like this stuff, I'll put it on there. If they don't, then I probably won't. I'll just put it in the pantry for, you know, whatever calls, like if there's a recipe that calls for it, or like, you know, Rice Krispie Treats. I picked up the spice drops for gingerbread making. I always like to pick up the candy at Dollar Tree to embellish our um, gingerbread houses. Um, and they usually have the suckers that are like the gingerbread guy, the snowman, and the Santa. And I always get those because the kids will cut them off the stick and put them on their gingerbread houses, but I couldn't find them when I was there. I grabbed the piping bags and the tips. I always buy the green, blue, and red frosting from usually Walmart because I think they're $1.50 at Walmart and then that way the kids can use different colored icing on their gingerbread houses and you know turn them into whatever they want them to be and I got this because then each kid there's 12 1 2 3 4 5 6 I can make one for each of the kids like in their own colors maybe if that is going right I can have extra there's just never enough like piping bags and two of the kids want blue at the same time or whatever so I'm going to see if that helps even if it's just like cutting the tip of them and I thought there was one more. So I got these. I picked these up, so I left my tin out. I hauled these tins the last haul. I had seen somebody, this is not my idea, so I don't want to claim it. Her name is like DIY with Ash and Crafts or DIY and Craft with Ash. I can't remember her name, but I will link her down below in my description box as I did the last time. But she glued this like to the to the guy's hands. Maybe she did it this way. She just tied a little bow to it and it was really cute. And she did a little like we whisk you a Merry Christmas with her cricket on his belly. And I got two of them. So I picked up a spatula and a whisk because I thought like if I do one on each side up on my cabinets that that would be really cute just to step them up a notch. And so I was looking for the whisk and I didn't find it the first go round. And so then I found the two and I was like, you know, I have two gingerbread guys. And so that was kind of my plan for those. 
And then lastly, I finally found some of the nail stickers. Now, I'm really terrible about actually doing nail stickers, so I only bought two different types, the ones that I think I might use. I thought these were really pretty. They're black and kind of a tan neutral color. The thing that worries me is they say they're peel off removal, which leads me to the belief that they might just lift really easily. But I'm gonna try to give those a shot. And then, and I got two of those as I'm holding both of them in my hand because I really like the design on them. And then I got this one too because it's got really that kind of, I wanna say ombre, but it's not, but that kind of feathered look along with little hearts. And according to the picture, stars, but I don't see any stars, I only see hearts. And so those are the only ones I picked up. There were a lot of neat designs, but nothing I thought that I would wear, so I didn't grab them because I'm trying to stretch my dollar a little bit more. Usually I just grab them just in case, but it's Christmas time and I'm spending a lot on gifts for the kids and all that stuff, so I'm trying to limit a little bit more. So that is my Dollar Tree haul for you guys today. Remember to go watch my other video to get entered into my 900 subscriber giveaway. Um, don't forget about my collaboration coming up on Saturday. And if you would like a Christmas card from me, go ahead and send me in an email your address and I will get those sent out here in the near future because it's December 1st, guys. Like, oh my gosh. Like, as soon as it hits December, it like it hits you that like you need to get stuff done and I need to get stuff done. So um, I will see you guys next time in my collective haul because I am going to record that right now. So you'll probably see me in the same outfit because I just I need the stuff out of it. And you know, it's here and ready. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye.